guys believe it or not but this is a new prodigy website yes you heard me right prodigy has updated their website yep so as we log on you guys can see that prodigy has done some pretty awesome rebranding as we can see not only have they changed their color scheme but they have changed the look of their website entirely Right, so if you log on to Prodigy and you were something new, you'd immediately know that the main goal of this is to help everyone love learning and do maths. Because if you look over here, as you guys can see, it has a bunch of major things which are taught during school like greater than, less than, multiplication, addition, division, um, percentage, square, cube roots. Well, as you can see from this image over here, this tells a lot about Prodigy, that Prodigy is a math game over here. So this image, I do like it, except I have one question about this image. What is up with their teeth? Why do they only have teeth on the top of their mouth? Like, what happened to the teeth on their bottom of the mouth? Um, did someone, like, take them away? Did a tooth fairy come? Did Tom and Jerry knock their teeth out? I don't know. What do you guys think? But yeah, but when we look over here, as you guys can see, the main thing which stands out is our mission to help every student in the world love learning. And, right, this stands out. If you go on this website and see this, we can obviously tell that this is a learning game. So their branding is good. I like the color scheme. The color scheme comprises of creamy white, white, orange, magenta, along with black, right? So this is only by looking at the first page. We haven't even scrolled down and seen what they've updated to the bottom of it. Because previously, the color theme used to be turquoise, blue, and black. So in the previous scheme, we couldn't actually tell it was a math game until we clicked the play button. So I do like this page. It tells us directly that Prodigy is a math game. And more about this stuff so it is good the main thing which stands out to me is our mission is to help every student in the world love learning so now if we scroll down over here it says to motivate students to all levels with prodigy math games adaptive learning platform so i mean i have seen this firsthand where prodigy like changes your grade because remember when i previously started my youtube channel when i made my third grade series it turned out that i was doing fifth grade maths over time because prodigy changed my level from third grade all the way to fifth grade so it was kind of crazy because once I logged onto Prodigy and to the parent teacher accounts and I realized, wait a minute, why is my grade at fifth grade? I thought I turned it to third. Well, this is true. Prodigy does adapt it. And let's see, they've added a new video over here and this looks pretty nice. I mean, you can see the thumbnail and there's an orange play button. I mean, if you don't have an orange play button, what are you doing? Looks like it's engaging, visualization. Oh, you know what, let's watch the video and see what they did with the video. I mean, we can already see that Prodigy is starting to use their fonts which they've made. Cursive Prodigy Sans, Prodigy Sans, I mean, it's a pretty good font, so let's just watch the video. Help create a love of learning from anywhere with Prodigy Math Game, the platform enjoyed by over 100 million students, teachers, and parents. Entering a world of adventure, students battle foes and rescue pets by answering curriculum-aligned math questions. Plus, with their personalized character, they can build a powerful team to take on the Puppet Master and bring wisdom and knowledge back to the world. And while students play, Prodigy Math Game provides teachers with personalized data based on each student's progress and performance whenever they log in, helping educators differentiate instruction, whether that's in class or at home. And parents can effectively motivate their child to practice math by setting goals and handing out in-game rewards. Plus, they can monitor their progress. No classroom required. Sign up for your free account today and start to love learning with Prodigy Math Game. Right guys, so after seeing that video, as we can tell, if I was an educator or a teacher and I found this website, well, it would be pretty obvious that they teach math, and not only that, but if you scroll down over here, their video gets straight to the points and is super informational about the game. So I do like how they have changed the website and shown us the advantages of Prodigy, and over here it shows math achievement and how it's boosted their scores. I remember in 5th grade when we were doing the standard testing in California, I scored about 98% in my math test. And over here it shows that students score approximately 12.39 points on their tests. Now if you look over here it says Prodigy Boost Maths Achievements. And that is true. Over here as you can see they're showing a graph with two different scores on it. Now over here an average improvement of 12.39 points on scoring the blah 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 exams. Now once we scroll down over here as you guys can see they show us everything about Prodigy the stuff. Prodigy gets to the point that membership is optional right? You don't need membership you get everything unlocked before membership so membership does not affect learning. But they are saying that getting membership does have an improved engagement. As we can see, Prodigy did improve their page over here. It looks much better and 
much more interactive. I mean, if I was an educator, why would I not choose Prodigy after seeing this? Except this teacher. I'm confused. What happened to the teacher? <laughs> Can someone be honest? Please tell me what happened to the teacher. And why does this person look like a panda? Or maybe they look like a panda because it's from far distance. But still, I mean, their 3D graphics are amazing. I know it would take super long to make them, but seriously? <laughs> like, what happened there? <laughs> And now if we head down over here, it looks like Prodigy has gotten way way straight to the point that they're gonna help people teach maths and they have one-on-one -on -one personalized math tutorials and they help motivate math learning with Prodigy membership. And then it shows us that Prodigy users agree, where it has the opinions of parents, teachers, and more teachers. Yep, so over here you can see how the teachers are telling that it improves the students' learning and stuff and in addition to that you can see on their Instagram it has the same thing. And down over here, as you guys can see, we have some new awards over here, granting Prodigy some things. So it has an ESSA Tier 3, I have no idea what that means. Prodigy, if you want to explain, can you put it down in the comment section what these mean? So it looks like it's 2018 Topic for Learning by Common Sense Education and America Association of School Libraries, AASL Best, website for teaching and learning. Now let's scroll down to the very bottom. And now when we scroll down to the very bottom, what? Who is this guy? Well, it looks like he made another appearance. And this guy, believe me or not, is a new prodigy monster. And in my opinion, he looks like a big fat chubby polar bear. Like, seriously, does he not look like a polar bear like that? Wait a minute, what happened to his teeth? Yeah, what happened to his teeth? Why does he have one tooth? I mean, it does look cool, but seriously, couldn't he have had like those full teeth, I guess? But still, it kind of looks like his hands are mittens. And what do you guys think about this Prodigy monster? From the outside, it kind of looks a bit wonky. But if you look inside of the game, the Prodigy monster looks pretty cool. But still, I preferred the blue Prodigy monster. Just look at how they massacred my boy. He's gone orange from blue. And now, if you head to the bottom, as you guys can see, Prodigy has a bunch of things. So first of all, they have parent support for parents, teachers, and students at the very bottom. Right now, in addition, at the very bottom, as you guys can see, it says Prodigy Math Game, Memberships, and Math Tutoring. So this will take you to the tutoring page where Prodigy does the math thing. Over here, it will take you to the memberships, and this will take you to the game. Now, in more info, you guys can see the blog, the research behind Prodigy, and the curriculum. And then over here, finally, we have careers under Prodigy. And in addition to that, if you want to follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn, you can just click here, and you will be taken to their social media. So, all in all, I like the, how they upgraded the website. It's a bit sudden because I was playing Prodigy, and then the second second, I log back in and I see this. Though I would have loved it if Prodigy could have just shown us a little bit in advance, but still, this is pretty cool. That's a lot of blabbering about the outside and the pages of Prodigy. Let's go in-game and see what they've done. As you can see on the login screen, the Prodigy logo from here has disappeared. As you can see, the Prodigy logo appears over here with this transparent white bar above it. Right, so basically they removed the logo from here and if you click the login button, as you guys can see it says, Prodigy, don't have an account, sign up. So they added it on the top which is in orange so it stands out and I like the color. And if you click the sign up, well it changes to already have an account, then log in. And now here we go, we're logging into the website. Now in the login page, as you guys can see, they changed the logo everywhere so it fits the Prodigy. And even if we exit out, as you guys can see, up over here they've changed their logo, right? So that's how I noticed the update because I realized that their logo has changed, okay guys? So always pay attention to the smallest details because they can have a huge impact, okay? Now once we log into Prodigy, let's head over to Lamp Playtown and see if we can find anything different, right? So while going through Lamp Playtown, it doesn't look like anything is different. I mean, everything looks the same. Maybe the fonts have changed a bit, I don't know. Here are some of the fonts from my old videos and here is the fonts now. Do the fonts look like they've changed? I kind of don't know because I can't say until I've seen the video. So yeah. But other than that, let's keep on exploring and see if they did anything else. I mean, it does look like that the font has changed, or maybe it's just me. I don't know, guys. Does it look like that their font has changed? You know what? Let's head into Monster Battle and see how they've changed Monster Battles, actually. Let's just head to Shiver Chill Mountain, hit the play button, and let's head up over here. And as you guys can see, we load up over here. Now, let's just head into Monster Battle against this, whatever you call it. What do you call this guy? I can't seem to remember what their name is. Let's go into a battle against this rascal and cast the spell Falling Star Smash. This question is so hard I answered it wrong. Whoa, what? Guys, did you see that? Looks like they have an orange prodigy monster now? 
Okay, this is interesting. Let's just watch that animation once again. So let me just quickly answer my next question and I'll slow this one down, okay? Now, as you guys can see, I've answered my question, so let's click the enter button. And I As we can see, it looks like the Prodigy Monster shrinks to the top. And he looks sort of orange and has like, he looks like an orange themed person with a white belly and his hair is kind of fluffed up, like kind of sort of messed up I guess you could call it. But the monster does look cute, it isn't too shabby, though I do prefer the old monster over this, but still it's pretty cool. Now let's see what else we get, so let's open our chest and see what we get. And it looks like we get another shell. Right, so we've battled one monster, so let's just keep on going around the worlds of Prodigy and see if anything has changed. So if you hit the Firefly Forest, it doesn't look like much has changed. I feel like that the only thing which they changed is the fonts over here. Okay, so it doesn't look like they've changed much in-game. It looks like that they've redone their entire website, which does look pretty cool. I mean, how can you disagree that the website doesn't look cool? I mean, sure, the branding was a bit sudden, but still, it does look cool. I like the color scheme. So guys, as you saw, that was pretty short appearance of the Prodigy Monster. So now I'm gonna do a couple more battles so you guys can see how the Prodigy Monster looks. So let's go and battle this Flame Meek. Right, here we go. We're going into battle against Mr. Flame Meek along with uh, the puck behind him. So let's use Falling Star Smash and cast our spell. Okay, so we've answered our question and it kind of looks like it's a polar bear, doesn't it? It kind of looks like it's a polar bear with a tiny hairstyle on its head with a white belly. The Prodigy Monster doesn't look too shabby, it's actually pretty cute. Let's use our all-out attack and see what will happen next, okay. So let's just answer this question. And guys, apparently the Prodigy Monster only has one tooth while he has no teeth in the rest of his mouth. Hmm. Like, why does the Prodigy Monster only have one tooth? What happened to his rest? Right now, over here, as you guys can see, there's another Flame Leak. So let's head into a battle with Mr. Flame Leak over here. Right here we go, Wizard Battle! And looks like it's a flame meek along with a cloaker, so let's cast Falling Star Smash quickly. Okie dokie, so I've answered my question correct. And now we shall be casting another spell doing approximately 3000 damage. So all we need to do is we need to cast two more spells. So it looks like Mr. Flame Meek used Volcano and missed me, which is good, it's not too shabby at all. Now let's use Falling Star Smash and look carefully at Mr. Monster. Okay, here we go. So it looks like that the monster shrinks from the bottom of the screen up while panning across the screen. Basically, in editing terms, like, so a banner goes across your screen in which the monster shrinks and goes up in position and size. So, I mean, the animation is pretty cool, actually. And the monster, the design isn't too bad. It's just that I prefer the old monster, not this one. Okay guys, so I've just answered my question correct, and looks like this should be our last spell to cast before both monsters are obliterated. And here we go, we only did 4000 and 3000 damage. I mean that's not too shabby, at least we did enough damage so we can one shot the cloaker. Right, so the cloaker comes up, it will cast its spell, and now we can cast our turn as well. Right, let's see if we can do more than 3000 damage, I think we can. Okay guys, so I've just answered my question correct, looks like we're getting ourselves a skill. Now let's see the correcto mundo answer, and then we will use the power of the prodigy monster to destroy the cloaka. Well, it looks like the prodigy monster didn't want to show up, so we weren't able to destroy the cloaker. Oh well, guess the prodigy monster does not want everyone to use its power to destroy prodigy monsters. But yeah, there we go, looks like we did one or two battles with the prodigy monster. I think that the character is cute. It looks like it's a polar bear, actually. A polar bear holding thin air. Okay, let's just hit the next button and we appear out over here. And guys, I'm afraid that is all I have time for in today's video. And I hope you did enjoy this. And if you did, don't forget to smack or need that subscribe button. And turn on that notification bell for more Prodigy updates. And hit the like button while you're down there as well. And I will be catching you all next time. Any comments or thoughts on the update, well, put it down below and I will be back to you all soon. Bye, have a good time.